Let's paint this chair that we thrifted for only $12. Will it turn out? Is it worth it? Let's find out. First, I clean the fabric with this Bissell upholstery cleaner. Since this chair was thrifted, I wanted to clean it because you never know what people do and what was on this chair. But it also kind of served to get the chair wet. When I've read other tutorials, they usually get the fabric wet first, so that's what I did. Then I mixed some country chic chalk paint to make a pretty color with all of my leftover paint. I mixed some green fireworks paint with the teal jitterbug paint and then some leftover country chic paint that I had mixed for another project and some black paint too. I have no idea how much of each I mixed in. I just mixed until I like the color. Then I added a bunch of water to the paint, maybe 50% and then I brushed it onto the chair. Painting the fabric was easy until I got into the welting and the cracks. That was a pain. Then I let the paint dry until the next day and here's what it looked like. You can still see the different color of fabric because the paint was really watered down. Also, I didn't mix up enough paint so I had to make more. And since I didn't have the exact measurements from the first batch, I just mixed something that was similar. And then I painted another coat on all of the fabric for a total of two coats of paint. And then I let it all dry again until the next day. The fabric felt pretty stiff by this point. So I sanded it with 220 grit sandpaper to loosen the fibers. Then I vacuumed up all of the dust. It all felt soft at this point, but I couldn't just leave the chalk paint all sanded like this, so I brushed the soft wax all over the paint. And here's what it looks like now. Overall, I'm happy with how it turned out. I love the worn look of the painted fabric. I waited 30 days for the wax to cure before I sat in the chair with light colored clothes. Painting the cracks and crevices of the fabric was the hardest part, but I would do it again if it meant saving a few hundred bucks on a chair. Right now, it's not the softest chair ever, but it also wasn't soft fabric to start with either. What do you think of the new look? Would you paint a chair like this? Let me know in the comments. Are you confused and not sure where to start with your furniture makeover? Don't worry, I got your back. Click the link in my comment to download our free painting checklist so you can paint your furniture as if you hired a professional to do it.